hey hey good morning and welcome back to another video no clue why I'm sat on the floor in the hallway. I think it's because I've just received my new favourite delivery and I was too excited to walk the extra hundred yards to the living room before I had to open it. Well I've opened it but I haven't seen what's inside. But I've just received another order from Tamu. I have ordered so much from this company over the last couple of months. I did all my Christmas shopping from there. Only two weeks ago I ordered electronics, now in this one I've ordered clothes because I need stuff for our next weekend away. So I'm just going to jump straight in and show you what I got. So the first thing I ordered was a long jumper, that's all I'm wearing at the minute is leggings and long jumpers. So I got one in a pink colour and then it's got buttons down the side and I think this was only like $3.99, it was on one of their lightning deals. To move tend to do that quite a lot, they have a lot of lightning deals. So that's the first one I got. The next one is a thicker jumper, like a knitted jumper, and this one is off the shoulder. So it's got three colours, white, brown and beige. So I'll probably wear this one more with jeans, but what I will do, I'll link all these in the description, but again, for so cheap, the quality is amazing. Honestly, I forgot what I've ordered. <laughs> This one is a white, ah, this one is very similar to one I already have. It's like a netted sleeve, is that what you call it, netted sleeve? And again, it's a long jumper. Well, it's not a long jumper actually. It's a thin, like, t-shirt material, this one. So that's the third one. How many did I order? So I've ordered four all together. And the last one is a beige, it's a mixture of the two tops, so it's a netted shoulder, buttons on the top, and then it's a long, like, I would say more, this is more of a jumper material, it's quite a thick one, but again, you can wear that with jeans and leggings. So I've got a few tops now to take away on our next trip. So if you would like to check out Tamu, I will leave a link in the description and it will give you 30% off your first order. Today is a day of getting things done. Originally, I was planning on going for a nice winter's walk along the beach thinking it would be blue skies, nice crisp winter weather, but oh no, it is raining yet again. Honestly, I am over this rain. So whilst it's raining, I'm using the day to get everything done on my list. The first job, I've just pulled up at Primark. I need to get new work shoes and then later, I need to either go to Asda's or Audi's and do a food shop. It must be miserable weather if you're in trainers and jeans. I do not need a basket. Sarah, you do not need a basket. Not having a basket. You watch, even though it's February, they'll have all their summer stock in now. Oh, a Mickey one. I've actually got that in black and white. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I have just seen stitches. Six pound. Can you make any more noise with them shoes? <laughs> Absolutely not. I thought that was the type of thing you wore No, I don't wear them. They're horrific. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kathleen's favourite Crocs. Horrendous. Not as horrendous as them shoes you just picked out for me. I can literally hear you from miles away with your shoes. I do like that top. Into Miami. Would you wear that? Yeah. It's really nice. What's that? A peacock? Not a peacock, a flamingo. Doesn't have a price on it. 20 quid. Who would drink that amount of water literally in a day? I, I wouldn't be able to drink that in a week. I was seeing if they had any of them like Stanley cups here. Not that I want one. I just wanted to see if they had any. It won't be long before they start doing their version of them. Right, you ready to make a run for it? Yeah. Well, they do have the lunchtime menus. Good. <laughs> I was going to read that. You were exactly. I'll go for that, the two courses. You watch now, I say all this and I'll end up with soup again. That's all I've been eating lately is soup. I could eat a burger though. <laughs> they got loads to choose from. Steaks, flatbreads, that sounds nice, a flatbread. The chicken, 
burgers. Do you know what I want to try again? I really want to try this chicken bacon waffle. Wow, look at the calories. I'm just too scared that I'm not going to like it. So I did end up going with the salad. You can actually pay, I think it's like 6 99 for a big bowl of salad because the one thing I wanted on the menu was soup. And guess what they didn't have? Soup. I have literally got the biggest bowl of salad ever. I have got everything, carrots, potato salad, peppers, sweet corn, tomatoes, you name it, it is in this bowl. And the best thing, they're rolls. And they give you a pack. I need a shovel, not a fork. Slugs. That's what they are. <laughs> Mushrooms are definitely slugs with batter on them. I feel like you've eaten loads and I haven't even tackled half of it. Actually, I haven't even tackled a quarter of it. Now that's torture, having a burger. That's my favorite burger. Actually, what is that big orange thing in the sky? That was a bit of a shock. Asteroid. <laughs> Half the sky is like bluishy. Bluishy, is that a word? No. And the other sky is grayishy. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is actually coming out for the first time in like days but I don't think it's gonna be here for long because the clouds are coming over but the first job on the list is now done I can tick that one off the next one the boring job full shopping <laughs> Because someone forgot to bring carrier bags, this is the current state of my car. Everything is on the front seat and on the floor. Wish me luck that nothing breaks or cracks. Well, I managed to get everything back in one piece. Nothing is broken or cracked. Well, what I can see anyway, we may find something in amongst all the stuff. But should we go old school and do a quick grocery haul? I haven't done one of these on my channel for years. But this time we went to Aldi's. It was just easier because it's around the corner. I didn't need much, so I've got stuff for the pantry. I've got all the breads. I've got some fridge stuff and literally a tiny bit for the freezer because my freezer is chock-a-block. So I'm gonna start over here. Now this made me laugh, wonky strawberries. There's nothing wonky about them. They are literally the shape of a strawberry, but they're half the price. So we grab them, milk, avocado, onions, lettuce, cucumber, peppers, we have a few of these in the pantry, the pasta and sauce. So I got two mac and cheese, an onion and garlic dip, cherry tomatoes, pasta, sliced chicken. We use these for fajitas, curries, loads of stuff. Ham, bacon, rice. Got some more beef for our Irish stew that I'm gonna make in the week. Noodles, eggs. Since the pandemic, I made a pantry. And in that pantry, I always have plain flour and long life milk. And you know what? I never thought I was gonna use it, but you know how handy it is always having flour and long life milk on hand. So I needed to get some more, so we got them. I've got sausage rolls, chocolate waffles. I've never noticed these before, but Aldi's now have their version of Pop-Tarts called Pop Twists. So we're gonna try them out. And again, they were half the price. We got crumpets, bagel thins, muffins, because I bought the breakfast pork patties to go in these to do our own like McDonald's and that's why we have the cheese, more crumpets, wraps and rice cakes, two fisherman's pies. We love this. We had it at Christmas and we've been buying it ever since. It's a sweet chili extra large sausage roll and then we got cherry bakewells, their versions of Mars bars and Twix, lots of different biscuits, cookies, cartwheels, bourbons, and then Oaties, groovy biscuits, and then angel slices, prawn crackers, chocolate, so I'm just gonna melt some of this and have it with the strawberries, and then just bin bags and surface cleaner. Hold on, Geth. Half the I stuff's missing. Gethin's left half of the stuff in the boot. I was just about to say, all of this came to 75 pound, and it's not much, because half of it is in the car boot. One minute. That will teach us to take carrier bags next time. Chop chop. Gethin's the one running back and forth because I'm the one who's got to put everything away. But back to the normal programming. Let me show you what else we got. So we got some shredded chicken. That's why we bought the rice. We're gonna make egg fried rice, shredded chicken in like a sweet and chili sauce with the prawn crackers. Chicken nuggets for when I do like my charcuterie boards. Potatoes. Three different cereals. So the shreddies version which is the malted wheats, hoops, 
And then we've never tried this one. I won't like it because it's cinnamon, but cinnamon chips. Is he coming back with any more? Yes, there's more coming. <laughs> now it looks a bit better for £75. Oh, my tomato soup. You're off your head. You left most of it in the boot. Yeah, I left a fair bit. I haven't even shown it yet and you're already digging in. Right. <laughs> so we did get crisps, onion rings, cheese puffs, bacon rashers, salt and vinegar sticks. Never had these before, but we'll give them a go. Squash. I needed new cloths. I'm going to try these for a quick snack. Cheddar and cracked black... <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Cheddar and cracked black pepper flatbreads. Soft cheese. I use these in the peppers. I make my own like stuffed peppers. Shampoo. And this is my new favourite. I have used so many different brands over the years. Some bottles even costed me like £6. And this one is the best for my hair type. And it was only 75 pence. And then tomato soup, because that's all I've been eating lately, is soup, gravy, and then sweet corn. Look how light it is for five o'clock in the evening. This makes me so happy. Spring is on its way. But now I'm going to crack on with dinner. I'm just doing a super easy dinner tonight because Carter's got rugby. So I'm literally going to be going out in the next hour. Actually, I might not even put this in the oven. I might just shove these in the microwave. So we're going to have jacket potatoes. And we love this curry sauce from Asda's. It is super cheap. It's like 70 pence, but it's one of our favourites. So I'm going to use this with some chicken bits. And we're just going to have a nice, warm, comfort food dinner. Because today, even though I said spring is on its way, it is absolutely freezing. It's like 10 degrees lower today than it's been all week. And today, I'm feeling cold. But before I crack on with dinner, I have had so many messages asking, would I recommend Butlins? And the short answer is... Yes, yes I would, but do a little bit of research. I've been to the Minehead Resort and the Bognor Regis. Me personally, I prefer the Bognor Regis one. I just find it's a lot more modern and there's more going on. The Minehead one feels as though it's still trapped in the 90s and it is run down. But for what we paid for our weekend, it was great value for money. I would look at different accommodations that you can get in the Minehead one because we looked at the standard ones and to be honest, they were quite run down and dirty. I personally wouldn't pay to go to one of them, but to have a silver apartment or a gold is perfect, especially the gold, because they're right next to the skyline, literally only a two minute walk. Not like us, where we were in the chalets and we had a 500 mile walk every day. But I would recommend them chalets, they were lovely. Like I said, it's value for money. You had the swimming included and you can go as many times as you wanted. You had the fun fair, the Minehead one, they've knocked quite a lot of the fun fair down, so it was only a couple of rides. Whereas I found the Bognor Regis one was a lot bigger. And also then you've got the entertainment included, like the Masked Singer. How much would you have paid to watch that in a theatre? So definitely value for money. But also, I wouldn't recommend it for older children. I found there was not much there for my boys apart from swimming. Actually, Tyler didn't even come out of the room, he just stayed on his Xbox all the time. And Carter could find a couple of things like the arcades, but I would say for children under 10. And I can't comment on the Skegness Resort because I've never been there. That's like a six hour drive from us. But all in all, value for money, great weekend away. So yes, I would recommend Butlins. But now I'm gonna have to crack on with this dinner because I have literally got 40 minutes to make food, which is gonna take like two minutes in the microwave, but I've gotta get him changed, get his rugby kit together and head out the door. I've just been sat here for the last half an hour scrolling through Netflix trying to find something to watch. Do you think I can find anything? Absolutely nothing. And I've been through all the categories. So if you have seen something that you've enjoyed, let me know because I need a good series to binge watch. But I've been putting off the cleaning, which I better get on with now because I've literally just spent half an hour. So all my time has just been scrolling through Netflix. But today is a day of getting things done, so I do have to do my cleaning. I did all my errands earlier, but now I've got to clean the bathroom and hoover the house.
give you an exciting update, no sarcasm in that whatsoever, but if you've been watching my last few videos, you'll know that I changed all the light bulbs out in the house to have the white lights instead of the warm lights, and that I was cursing my living room lights because they've not been working. I have two of them, and this one has not been working for at least, it's got to have been six months. So I was looking at buying new ones, and then all of a sudden, they are now both working. But how is that even possible? It hasn't been working for at least six months. Actually, I'm not even gonna moan because that has just saved me buying new lights for the living room. That is me signing off for the day. I am done. It has been a super busy day. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see future videos of ours, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell for post notifications. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>